Hi again, YouTubers. So I wanted to jump on and tape this haul video kind of quickly for you guys because um, it is an order I placed with the Sephora friends and family sale. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about that, but this order I placed on the very first day. Uh, Sephora usually about once a year around this time of year has a 20% off for friends, family, VIBs, etc. and they provide a code. Um, this year it's a little different. They provided a link to somewhere you have to go to to put in your email address. Once you put in your email address, they then send you a unique one-time only code. Um, some little kind of ways around that. You can you can get codes if you have multiple emails. I have like five different emails. I'm not going to use that many. I placed one order the very first day of because I had already had stuff in my shopping cart kind of waiting for this. And I'll place one order probably on the last day as I watch videos, get ideas, things like that. Um, so I will put the link to my blog below and my blog has the information of how you can get this code if you're interested in the 20% off. And it is 20% off anything that you can purchase through Sephora. It is online only as well, so keep that in mind. And you can't get other free things with it. Like you know how normally you can use the code like free ship or something, I don't know. Or like you can get a free eye cream or something like that. You can't use any of those. You can only use whatever the code is that they sent to you. And that's it. So that being said, I wanted to show you guys what I got because I love watching people's videos right away of what they got in hopes that I might see something to pick up for my last order. Um, it used to not be, I just kind of placed them as I found things. But now that they only give you a one-time use code, um, I only want to do it twice this time. So that being said, I will mention, I think Sephora is the biggest waste of shipping. Like look how big this box is. This is there is no reason for this. There was so much packaging. I think that every time I get a package from them, I'm always like, oh God, why did they put so much packaging in here? So that being said, um, I'm just gonna kind of cool some things out. Let's say here. Oh, that was my shipping thing. First thing that I got is I had someone mention this to me. I don't remember who it was. Um, I, I have a Clinique, I've been using gel liners again, a ton, a ton, a ton. And um, somebody mentioned to me that, I, I said, let me rephrase this, I said that I really like the Clinique ones. I think the MAC ones, the Tarte ones, and the Clinique ones are probably my favorites by far. Someone mentioned to me that the Clinique brush on cream liner in the color 01 Black Honey is amazing on blue eyes. This is what the packaging looks like. Has the name at the top trying to hold these up a little bit longer so people can see them. Um, and I got this, and this is the coloring. If you can see, it's like not really brown. That's, is that me moving or is it the camera moving? That's so weird. There, maybe if I brace my hand, that'll help it. Um, I have it on today. I'm absolutely loving this color. It is just a gorgeous brown with like a reddish undertone, which looks amazing on blue eyes. So I'm absolutely loving that. Um, something interesting is, is I must have clicked on it twice because I got two of them. That's right, that one I'll just go back. Not a big deal. The next thing I got is I have a review on this. Um, and it's the Dr. Dennis Gross, Gross Skin Care Alpha Beta Glow Pad Anti-Aging Exfoliating Self Tanner with Active Vitamin D, 20 talents. So I picked up another one of these because I do like this and it is fairly expensive and I don't use them all the time, but I actually used one last night. Um, not this set, my old set. But um, I love these. I love, love, love these. So I'm super excited about that. Glad I have some backups. Won't run out. Um, another thing that I picked up, sorry, I should have gotten all this stuff out of the box beforehand. Um, I picked up a lot of things by, um, as usual, actually we tend to do this. I picked up a lot of things by um, referrals from other people, like meaning people have mentioned that they liked it. I'm not sure what that's from. I think that's everything it is. Um, and so I'll tell you a little bit about that. I, I know I'm horrible about putting their links below, but I try now to put them on my blog. So check there if you want someone's link that I might mention here. Um, I try to remember everyone I talk about. Um, it's also hard sometimes because I tend to think everybody knows who they are because I'm like, oh, I watched them for so long. So everybody must know who they are, right? Because they have so many viewers or whatever have you. But anyway, I went in um, back in September to get my facial and my facial girl was like, your eyelashes look amazing. And I was like, are you using one of those like 
prescription whatever things, which those scare the bejesus out of me. So I'm not even going to try those. She said, no. She said, funny enough. She said, I used those. She said, it worked great while I used it. She said, but when I stopped using it, she had like eyelashes that broke and stuff like that. And that's part of why it scares me. So she said she's been using the Urban Decay. It's called Lush Lash System, 25% longer, thicker lashes in two weeks. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, it says 25% more in two weeks, 40% more in four weeks, and 63% more in six weeks. This is what it looks like. And this side, what you do is it's a clear serum with a little brush. And then the, and you put that on your lash line. And you do this at night in the morning and you run it along your lash line. And then you use the conditioner that's on the mascara wand on the other side on your lashes. And I'll tell you, I've used it. I got this Monday. I used it Monday night. Use a Tuesday morning, Tuesday night, and today's Wednesday morning, and this will probably go up Thursday, but um, no, actually, I might go up later today if I have time. But so I've been using it like that, and my lashes seem so just conditioned and like nice, and I'm truly impressed. But it is kind of expensive, so I was glad to get it on the sale. Next thing that I've had on my like kind of I carry a Sephora wish list on my phone, so where my phone is. Um, this is just something that I never bothered to pick up. It was kind of like, okay, yeah, I'll try it at some point, but I wasn't in a rush. And it's by Too Faced, and it's called Perfect Lips, Perfect Nude Lip Liner. Oops, that's upside down. And this is what it looks like. And it's just a really pretty nude. It can be used with any lip color. Um, I have it on today. I really like it. I think it's pretty. Um... I don't think I'd jump up and down and go out of my way for it, but I like it. Uh, next thing I picked up uh, is bom the Bombshell Suite, Vanessa, was talking. She sent a message on Twitter, and then she did a video on this. Um, it's the Bare Minerals. New now, I'm not a fan of Bare Minerals Loose Mineral Shadows. I just don't have the time to be bothered with those. But I had heard a lot about these new palettes they have, and she said, if you have blue eyes, this is a must have. It's a palette called The Truth. And I was like, all right, I'll get it. I'll give it a try. And this is what it looks like. And I have it on today. And it doesn't look like much in the pan. I have this one all over my lid. I have, wait, this one, ooh, hold on, there we go. Ah, darn it. <laughs> the darkest one just in my outer V and then I use this one to blend out. And it is gorgeous. Like. I hope you can see it. I um, did try it the way she did in her video as well yesterday. I've used it for two days. The pigmentation on this is just amazing. I thought like I was gonna have to really dig the brush into it, but like, oh my goodness. Like, they're just so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm really, really enjoying that palette. Um, I'm gonna pick up some other palettes too. I think I've never had a true Dior palette, so I think I'm gonna pick up one of those. And I might try their matte bronzer, so that might be coming up. Um, next thing, someone mentioned to me when I was talking about, wow, that lip liner doesn't budge. I just wiped out it a couple times. Um, I have been talking about the Clay Depot concealer that I got, the concealer stick. And someone mentioned in that video that a great dupe is the Hourglass Hidden Corrective Concealer. Got this in the color. Darn it. Heat when it doesn't say right around. Hmm, let me open it up and see. It says warm. It says warm. Mm. All right. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the concealer looks like. It has a nice little stick. You can tell I've been using it. I have it on today. I do think it is a good dupe so far for the Clay Depot. It doesn't take a lot of using these to realize whether it's going to be a decent product or not. Um, the Clay Depot is like 70 and this was like 30. Could be a great option. So I'll keep you posted on that. The next thing I picked up is um, Heidi, who I talk to quite frequently. Um, Jalapena2007 was telling me, I was talking to her. She's the one that originally sent me a sample of the glow pads. And I was excited to get that and I tried it and she was telling me, she said, okay. She said, well, if you like that, you have to try their Alpha Beta Peel. And it's um, a pat patented two-step anti-aging treatment. 
uh, professional results without irritation. There's 30 step one treatments and 30 step two. Visibly reduces wrinkles, fades dark spots, and minimizes pores. This is what it looks like. It comes in a container like this. Now this is expensive as well. Oops, little instruction things. Two different containers. Um, this is expensive as well. Sorry, dropped the instructions. Um, but again, with the 20% off, much more willing to give it a try. But she says she thinks I'm going to love it. So I'm excited about that. Got that. And then the last thing I got from the Sephora Friends and Family sale is I decided to give this a try. I had heard about it last year. People talked about it last year. I don't right now. Uh, I have a sample of a mascara that I'm loving, and it's the Clinique High Impact. I've been using it every day, and I absolutely love it. Um, but I decided to give this a try because I was like, oh, I'm always looking for a new, different mascara. And it's the Sephora Favorites Lash Stash Mascara Sampler. This is what it looks like. And really cute packaging. Open it up. And this is what it looks like. It has a eye makeup remover. Clinique Take the Day Off. It has, I wonder if it has a list. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, it has Bare Essentials Flawless Definition. It has Clinique Take the Day Off uh, Remover. Fairy Drops Scandal Queen Mascara. Hourglass Film Noir Full Spectrum Mascara. Josie Marin Go Go Instant Natural Volume Argon Mascara. Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which I'm interested to try that. I've heard good and bad. Sephora Collection Full Size Advanced Lash Booster. Stila Full Size Forever Your Curl Mascara. Hmm, too full size. Uh, Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. Too Faced Lash Gasm, which I've heard really good things from, from Josh Collier. Collier, something like that, I think it is. Um, and Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. So I thought that would be totally fun to give it a try. And it was $45. Um, it says it's like $133 value of mascaras in it for $45. Two of those full-size mascaras probably would have cost me $45. So excited to give that a try. Um, last thing I want to mention is Kristen. Kristen Grit. Kristen Gem. Jeez, I've told her this a hundred times. I say it wrong every time. Um, had placed an order originally when the whole lip fusion thing that's not going to be canceled or sold at Sephora anymore went on. And she picked me up a lip fusion XL when they were on sale and sent it to me. So Kristen, thank you so much for that. Super excited. Um, she does great videos too. And I think she picked up the same uh, palette for the same reason. So I hope she loves that too. So that's it. I am going to do a video. Um, if you can see my hair has been so shiny. I am loving, loving, loving a new hair product I'm using. Um, so that video will be up later this week, but I wanted to get on here and tell you guys about this just in case you didn't know. And just in case you wanted to get anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.